The Royal Corinthian Yacht Club hosted the Etchells National Championship at the weekend, with racing getting underway on Friday in perfect racing conditions. A 15 knot easterly and sparkling sunshine delivered by far the best conditions of a three-day regatta, and the race committee made the most of it to complete four races. With the forecast for very light winds on Saturday and Sunday, it was a wise move. After a year away from actual sailing, Stuart Childerley, past double world champion, returned to the fray, sailing with Robert Elliott and Sam Richmond in bedrock. Childerley opened his account with a win in race one, with Graham Bailey and Arbitrator taking second, ahead of his wife, Julia Bailey, sailing with Andy Beadsworth in Mariner's Cove. Race two saw the first of three straight wins by Ante Razmilovic in Swedish blue, who'd started with a relatively lowly seventh place in race one. David Franks's Elvis was holed in this race when the Italian entry Motomar pushed their luck at the Leward mark without rights. Razmilovic led from start to finish, with Graham Bailey taking second while Childerley finished just two seconds behind in third. Race three saw the best conditions of the series. Lawrence Mead won the pin end with Stuart Childerley comfortably underneath him. But nearer the middle of the line, Ante Razmilovic hit the line with speed and soon rolled most of the fleet to leeward of him. Up the first beat and left proved to be the best side. Razmilovic rounded the windward mark with a comfortable lead he wouldn't relinquish. Second was Lawrence Mead, while Childerley was back in fifth at this stage. Down the run, Childerley worked the left, and by the finish he'd moved up to second, pushing Mead back to third. Razmilovic won again in the final race of the day, with Childerley second and Mead third, but with a penalty for a Z flag infringement. The fleet was held ashore on Saturday morning as the wind refused to oblige, but at one o'clock the sailors were sent afloat. Race five was sailed in a light six knot southeasterly over a short windward leeward course. Lawrence Mead led around the top mark with Childerley fourth and Razmilovic back in the pack. At the leeward mark with tide and a light wind, Mead hit the buoy. With Ian Law's pale tide forced wide, Childerley, who'd closed up on the run, nipped inside and was gone, while Mead did his penalty turn. At the top mark for the second time, Childerley was clear and untroubled, but as David Frank sailed himself and Ian Law well past the mark, Mead said thank you, rounded inside and picked up two places. Mead went on to finish second, with David Frank's third. What turned out to be the final race of a championship got underway with Lawrence Mead nailing the pin to good effect. With Razmilovic and Childerley back in the pack, Mead sailed away to a comfortable win. Anthony Shanks took second place, with Graham Bailey securing third after his perseverance with the left side of the run finally paid off. With Childerley scoring a lowly 15th, it could have been a problem for him, but with Sunday proving to be winless, Racing was abandoned, and the final results of a regatta saw Childerley taking the honours, a clear six points ahead of Ante Razmilovic in second, with Lawrence Mead taking third. While the Etchells were racing in their nationals, the other Cows Day boat fleets were sailing in the 14th round of the Cows Keelboat Solent Series on Saturday. After a postponement to wait for the wind, the Darings were sent east on a beat against the tide. In the light east southeasterly, the eight boat fleet worked their way inshore along the Shrape. Dynamite and Defender got away to the best starts, while Dauntless had to work her way through the fleet. At Norris Boy, Dynamite led around by a good margin and went on to win the race by nearly half a minute. Defender rounded second, but she slipped to third by the finish with Dauntless moving up one place from her third position at the mark. Only three Dragons turned out to race, and they too had to work their way east against the tide. The race was decided at this point, with Owen and Josie Pays Njord rounding Norris with a good lead, and going on to win by almost two minutes. 
Keith Chelsea's Supremacy took second, with Chris Britton and Duncan Grindley's Norbert coming in third. Racing on Sunday was abandoned when the wind fell to oblige. Join us next week for news of the Asto Regatta and the final round of the Red Funnel Cows Kilboat Championship.